Hey, what's up? This is Christopher. Today I'm going to look at Videorama. Now, Videorama is a universal application. It will work on the iPhone as well as the iPad. It is free to download. Uh, Videorama is from the same developer who created Typorama, which I have previously done a video about. So I will link where you can download Videorama in the App Store for the iPhone and the iPad, as well as a link to my Typorama review if you'd like to check that out as well. So let's go ahead and launch Videorama. Now when you first launch Videorama, you're going to have to give it access to like your camera roll, your microphone, camera, etc, etc. So go ahead and allow it access to all that, like you do with any of these editing applications. Up here in the top left, you have an info button. You tap this going to tell you, hey, you want to rate Videorama on the App Store, you want to tell a friend, you could restore previous in-app purchases, go ahead and tap that. If you've like downloaded the app and reinstalled it, this is where you will restore your previous purchases. You could follow them on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. You could also check out Typerama with the link right there, uh, terms of use, and you can contact them if you're having issues with the app. Let's go ahead and close this. In the middle here, you have projects that you have previously worked on. So you can go ahead and tap on one of these to open it up. Or you could start a new project by picking a project size, landscape, square, or portrait. If you are sharing to Instagram or Vine, you may want to choose square. If you are sharing to Facebook or YouTube, you may want to do landscape. And if you are sharing to, say, Snapchat or something, you may want to select portrait. But for this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and select landscape. So when I tap landscape, my camera roll opens up with video files that I have on my device. So I'm just going to go ahead and select a few here. Now I also have some other options down here for photos, for colors, and for Pixabay. Now photos will open up my camera roll and allow me to import still images. Uh, colors is basically just a colored backdrop. I'll just give you an example here and I can choose that and you have all these different colors to choose from. Say you want to put like some text on a you know a colored background in between two clips you could select this. You can also go to Pixabay and Pixabay is free stock videos. So if you want to import some stock video to your film or your video you have some options in here and then you can also search. So if I just type in let's say iPad and see what comes up. So right here I have like an iPad video. How about if we do flowers and I get all these videos or these stock videos of flowers. So you get the idea if you want to import this into your film or video, you have that option as well. So let's go ahead and back up, go back to videos and let me import the ones that I selected. Just tap next. So go ahead and import those five videos down here at the bottom. Now this is going to be my timeline where I can adjust stuff up here is my clips. And as you can see, they have little markers for Vine and for Snapchat to let you know, hey, this is the link that you will be able to import to Snapchat or Vine. One thing to note, Vine is actually a lot longer than six seconds now, so that's no longer relevant, but with Snapchat, it is still 10 seconds, and then you can just continue to swipe. One thing that's cool is you can actually add adjustments or text or sound effects or uh, overlays or filters to each individual clip and you'll notice that they are divided. If you look right here, you'll notice that it is curved a little bit and that that is to let you know that you are starting on the second clip, which would be this one. And the marker point automatically moves to it if you select the clip in the bottom. So down here, if I select a different clip, it will move to the beginning of that particular clip. Let's go back and we're going to edit this one. So you can tap edit clip down here. You could also duplicate it if I want to duplicate it. Now where duplicate comes in to play, let's take this clip here and tap edit. And I'm going to shorten this just say for like two seconds and tap done. And then I'm going to tap the second one here, tap edit. And then I'm going to shorten that to right here. So now I have like a jump clip of the same video file. So if I were to scroll it back and start playing it, it would jump to that next clip. Or it would jump to that next portion of the video for like the little jump scene or whatever from the same clip. Uh, you get the idea of what I mean. So we have our clip selected on the bottom. We can go ahead and tap edit clip. And then we're going to get options to trim it, size and color, volume, controls, and speed. 
So for size and color, if I want to resize something, I can do so. Pinch in and out to adjust it. Like if I want to just focus in on that B, I'm going to outward pinch and focus on that design for Apple Final Cut Pro X. All right, let's go ahead and adjust that. All right, add a little color to it, and then we're gonna do volume. So if I want to lower the volume of this clip, go ahead and do that. Now, it only affects this particular clip, not the entire film. Uh, on controls, so you have some like color coat, <laughs> so you have some color correction in here, quote unquote. Uh, you can adjust the brightness, you can adjust the contrast, saturation, if I wanna desaturate it to give it that film look, um, some exposure, you can adjust that by scrubbing on it and some vibrancy. You can make it more vibrant, make them colors pop, you can do so. You could also adjust the speed. So let's lower this to about half speed. All right. Play that again with no audio this time. And as you can see, I adjusted the speed of the clip. So I can tap dumb. Now, if you want to add a transition between clips, you can do so. So I'm gonna get my clip here, and you're gonna tap add tranks, tranks. <laughs> uh, so you can fade that. You can add a dissolve, a swipe, bars, flash, ripple, pixelate, blur, or zoom. You could also adjust the duration of that transition. So let's just do like a little three tenths of a second here. All right, and watch this. And see, it gave it that nice little wipe when it went from scene to scene. You can actually tap on the transition right here at the bottom. So you can adjust the duration of that transition as well. So let's just go ahead and tap done. All right, now we could add text to our clip. So let's move the playhead right here. And we're going to go ahead and add text right here. And we're going to go ahead and tap this. And we're just going to say F C P X, whoops, or 10. And you can increase that length by outward pinching. You can also adjust like the font. If you want to do a different font type, you have a ton of fonts in here to choose from. And you can just kind of swipe right or left through those. You could also add a shadow around it by tapping on the lower right down there where it says shadow. You can also adjust the alignment. If you want to adjust some of that, let's tap Pacifico here just as an example. And then let's change the color of this text. So let's go with a nice yellow, tap done. You could also adjust the opacity of it. So let's lower that opacity just a little bit there, tap done. And then we can animate it in or out. Like if you want to say scale up, you want to fade it, you want to slide left or right. So you want to animate it out. So after this clip is done playing for whatever portion I set, and you can say the duration, two tenths of a second. So let's just say scale down and tap done. All right, now let's see how this looks. Let's move the clip here and tap play. See it popped in and it wiped out. Now, if you want to add an image to your clip, you can go ahead and tap image down here on the lower portion. All images, photos, vectors, illustrations of these stock photos. You could also choose from your camera roll as well. Tap up there in the top right and pick something from your camera roll. I'm not gonna do that now, but just to give you an example, this is the same thing as with the choosing the free stock video. Uh, you got vectors in here, illustrations, and then photos, et cetera, et cetera. So if you wanna add some of this to flare up your video or your film, you have that option. All right, down here we have video effects now. So if you wanna add like fire, balloons, confetti, or something like that, you go ahead and tap this. And let's just go ahead and download the confetti rain. So you will have to download each of these. And once they're downloaded, then you can just tap the plus symbol and add them to your video. Let's go ahead and tap that. So we have the confetti here. You can adjust the exposure. You can adjust the volume if it has like a sound effect to it. Let's just go ahead and put that there. And then tap done. And do a little bit more exposure. All right, let's go ahead and tap play. As you can see there, there's the confetti and then there's my text or whatever. And you'll notice up here on the playhead where it, it tells you where your effects start. And you can adjust these by tapping and pressing on them and then just sliding them to wherever you want the end point for your effect to start at. 
go ahead and tap done. So down here on the bottom, we have sound effects now. Let me slide up a little bit. So let me say, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna go ahead and lower the volume on this clip right here. So we can hear, and I'm gonna add some sound effects to it. So you have a ton of sound effects in here. You can kind of scroll through these. Um, for this one, let's just download. How about the joke drum? All right, go ahead and tap done, and then we'll just play it. And we got the sound effects in there. All right, so you have music. You wanna add some music to your video. So what this is, royalty-free music. So you can go ahead and add it to your film or your video. You don't have to worry about getting a, um, a strike on YouTube if you upload something. Now you can access your iTunes library music. Keep in mind, the music must be on the device. It can't be stored like um, from, what is it, uh, iTunes Match. Cannot be stored in the cloud from Apple Music. So if you pay for Apple Music and you put something on your phone for offline use, you will not be able to use that. And I'll give you an example here. Agony of Fires. As you can see, your music seems to be on your iCloud. Please sync it to your device to be able to use it in Videorama. Go ahead and tap OK. So we'll just choose some music here. We'll go with Mystery. And we'll add that. And we're going to lower the volume on that just a little bit. You can do the trim fade here. Let's try it like that. You can fade in, fade out, tap done, done. Now let's play it. All right, so there you heard the music down there. All right, now we have overlays. So if you want to add overlay, what this is is more like particle effects or dust effects and stuff like that for your film. Uh, lens flare, you know, dust, light leaks or whatever. So you're going to have all these options in here. And let's go ahead and add some film grain on here. And then we can adjust that, um, the strength of it. Add some light leak on here. And how about we add a light leak? Uh, let's go with the flicker. Download that, and you can adjust it. Now when we play this clip, as you can see, it's got some of that grain, some of that flicker on there. And then last but not least, you could add filters to your video. So if you want to Instagram your uh, film or whatever, so you got like instant, fade, uh, transfer, uh, process, looks pretty cool. Uh, Chrome, you know, you have a couple different options in here for filter effects, and you just tap that, tap done, and now you can kind of just scrub through and look at all the stuff that you've added to your video. Of course, this looks horrible, but this is just for demonstration purposes to show you some of the things that you can add in here within Video Rama. So now you can tap OK Share. You can choose the resolution, high 1080p, medium 720, low or very low. You could also export this to your gallery, upload it to Facebook, message, Instagram, email, Twitter, or you can tap other. It's going to go ahead and save your video. This might take a second. And it will open up other applications that allow you to upload video. Google Drive, as an example, uh, Vimeo, Facebook, etc. You can tap more right here if you have other options. Tap more right here if you have other apps that you have turned off like Google Hangouts or Google Drive or whatever it is. Copy to Drive is right there. So I don't know what that other <laughs> Google Drive is. But anyway, you get the idea. Let's back up. Come back here to my projects. Now, here's my project at the top. What we can do, if you already created something but you want to reshare it to another service, you just tap on the clip and go ahead and tap Share. And you're going to get the same option to share like a video. Maybe you created this two weeks ago and you shared it to YouTube, but now you want to upload it to Twitter or Facebook or somewhere. You could do that with your old projects. You could also delete your project. Let's tap one and delete it. And that will wipe it from your phone, clearing up a little bit of storage space for you. So keep in mind, video files are large, especially when you start adding all these little effects to it and stuff. It's only going to make that file that much larger when you do it. So just keep that in mind. Once you've shared it out to wherever you want to share it, you might want to delete that from your device. So let me show you some of the in-app purchases here. So you can tap the shop button down on the lower left and remove the watermark. I've already purchased that. I believe it was $2.99 as I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Uh, the full HD support, I don't think I paid for this. I believe that I like shared the app to Twitter or Facebook or somewhere and then like I got the uh, filter for free or the effect for free. 
or I got the add-on for free. I don't remember exactly how I got it, but I don't believe I paid for it. Um, then you can kind of swipe through some of the different uh, sections here, overlays, music, video effects, fonts, and apps. And you can also swipe left or right on them. And you kind of just tap on one, like rate app to unlock. So if you rate the app to unlock, it doesn't cost you any money. And you're going to go ahead and get these pro fonts pack. Uh, they range from $0.99 cent to like $2.99. So let's go ahead and go to video effects and show you some of these ones. You got some explosions, magic spells, action music pack, drama music pack etc etc and then there's the typo rama app so this is video rama if you've watched this video and you end up downloading it let me know in the comment what you think about it i think this is a really powerful terrific editor for the iphone look it's free to download why not download it and give it a try see how you like it um, if you like it go ahead and support the developer remove that watermark at the very minimum go ahead and do that so your video looks better but uh let me know what you think if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave one of those below as well if the video sucked give it a thumbs down if this video was helpful and you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up thank you for watching have a great day